While you may have seen a few videos talking about how much money can be made selling AI-generated children's storybooks, none of these videos are explaining the fact that Amazon will actually terminate your account for using AI-generated content. That being said, I do agree there is a tremendous potential to make some really good money creating and selling your own children's storybooks, if done correctly. And that's why I've created this video, is to show you how to properly use artificial intelligence to create children's storybooks. So if you're ready to start making some extra money selling your own children's books, then get your notepads ready and follow along. I will also leave links in the description for all the tools used in this process. Alright, so my process begins with a general Amazon search for similar products to what we want to create. So in this case, I'll search children's bedtime stories. And then I will niche down to a more specific topic utilizing two free Chrome extensions from self-publishing titans. And as you can see, with the help of this overall keyword niche score given, I can quickly narrow down to a topic with less competition. So I've managed to narrow down to children's bedtime stories from dad. That gives me a score of 55, and I'm very happy with this. So now I'll quickly investigate for any new publications that have managed to rank here. And as you can see, this Daddy Soros book is relatively new, published on April 4th, 2023. And that's basically all the inspiration that I need. I am now ready to move on with the writing process. Now I decided to use Google's Bard to write this story for me, not because I think it's better than ChatGPT, but because when I asked Bard if it could write a better children's storybook than ChatGPT, it gave me an excellent answer. But yeah, if you're used to ChatGPT, by all means utilize that. The process remains the same. Alright, so I begin with a simple prompt of write me a bedtime story with chapters that should be read by dad called Daddy Sword, like a dinosaur dad. Careful by the way not to copy the existing title of Daddy Saurus. Alright, so the first output wasn't exactly what I'm after. I want this to be longer with more chapters, so I'll include that in the next prompt, asking Bard to revise the story again, this time with seven chapters. And as you can see, it produced a pretty good storyline. It's cohesive, it includes values like trust, love, and friendship. So yes, this is actually pretty good, and I can definitely work with this. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to avoid Amazon KDP's AI detection. And if you didn't know, yes, Amazon KDP now checks for AI-produced content and will terminate your account for posting fake content, basically content not written by a human being. Now, other creators would just tell you to go use a paraphrasing tool such as Quillbot, but there's a problem with this, and I'll show you why. Alright, so I've already rewritten the first two chapters of this book, and they now pass AI detection. But what you're going to run into when you try to attempt this for yourself is that paraphrasing tools don't always trick the AI detector. Take this chapter for example. I've run this through Quillbot three times over, even changing the words and sentences manually through the options given here in Quillbot. And the AI detector still reads 100% fake. Now this is where you might think I'm about to show you the latest and greatest AI writing tool that can pass all AI detection, but the truth of the matter is at this point we just have to use our brain. The only thing that will truly pass these AI detectors is a real human touch that unique and complex flair that only a human being can bring to the table. And that's it, no secret tools, you simply have to use what the AI has given and make it yours, using your own powerful, uniquely human imagination. Okay, so now that our entire script passes as human written, the final step is to run a copyright check. I use DupliChecker.com. This is free. You just input your script, select I am not a robot, then click check plagiarism. This will give you a result that shows percentage of plagiarism versus percentage unique. You want this to be as close to 100% unique as possible. And that's the hard part. We can now move on to the more fun and simple process of generating the images and assembling our storybook. And just really quickly, I wanted to ask you to please smash that like button if you're finding value from the video. And please don't hesitate to ask any questions on what we're covering today, as I do make a concerted effort to answer all my questions and comments. Alright, so let's bring this story to life with some images. This step is optional, but I personally walk through the entire script numbering scenes that I want to create. I know I want my book to be a minimum of 24 pages, so I'll choose about 20 phrases from the script that I want to create images from. The rest of these pages will be filled with credits, description, etc. So I'll be using Leonardo AI to generate my images. Here under the Home tab in the Featured Models at the top, I found this cute anime characters model works really good for generating characters for these children's books. My first scene is Daddy Sore tucking his little dino into bed. So using this model, I will type in a loving cute dinosaur kid in bed. And be sure to turn on the prompt magic tool from the sidebar on the left. Least you end up with images like these. Yikes. Okay, now after a couple attempts with the prompt magic tool enabled, Leonardo AI has produced a really nice image that I can use in my scene. Now I will continue this process, generating images for all 20 scenes that I've selected from my story. Then using Canva's AI tools, I will edit the images produced. 
I primarily use Canva's background removal tool as well as their magic erase tool. This will enable you to remove backgrounds, transplanting characters between scenes, thus splicing these images together into a beautifully illustrated children's storybook with consistent characters throughout. I also used Canva's storybook template, basically for the background and the text font used. And this is also dinosaur themed, so I can possibly use some of these dinosaurs that are already in this template. So now you'll go through creating your scenes, adding the corresponding text to the pages. I use Canva's text effects to outline my text to make it easier to see and read. And once you're happy with your book's interior, we can move on to creating the cover. For this step, you're going to need to visit Amazon KDP and use their cover calculator tool. To find the calculator, click on Tools and Resources. Then from the sidebar on the left, click on Format Your Paperback. Then under Download a Cover Template, select Cover Calculator and Templates. From here, you need to enter your book's information. This is paperback, and I want premium color with white pages, reading from left to right. I want the measurement in inches, and I want the interior trim size to be 8.5 by 8.5 inches. Then add your page count, 24 pages, and calculate dimensions. This will bring up a downloadable version of your cover template. Then just download this, and we can use it in Canva. Now once you're here in Canva, we need to select the image of the cover template downloaded from KDP. Then select open this photo in a new design. Now we can simply fit our front and back images to the template, careful to avoid the pink borders as well as the yellow credits box on the back side with any important design elements that you don't want to be cut off or covered up. For the back of my cover, I want to maintain the background but change the characters, so I'll demonstrate using Canva's Magic Erase tool. To use this tool, you need to select Edit Photo and select the Magic Erase tool. Then just brush over your image you want to erase, and as you can see, the dinosaurs are gone, leaving the background intact. Now I can grab two of the characters that I want on the back cover, remove their backgrounds once again, arranging them as you like. Then you can add your title on the front and a short description on the back, arranging the text how you like. Once you're happy with your cover, you can click on Share, then click Download, being sure to change to PDF Print. I also select Flatten PDF, which will help ensure it prints properly. And now once you've downloaded your book's cover, you are basically done and ready to post your new book for sale on Amazon. So let's do it. Here in Amazon KDP, we're going to select Create. Then I want this to be a paperback, so I'm going to select Create Paperback. Now we need to fill out all the details for our book, starting with the book's title. And if you noticed, in the beginning of the video, Bard didn't actually provide me with a title for this book. So I went back to Bard and input the entire script, asking to write me a title and description for this story. And when I did this, it basically malfunctioned. So I took the script back to ChatGPT and asked it to write me a title and description, and it gladly obliged and provided me this excellent title and description. Now we can just continue to fill out the rest of our information here. The book needs an author. You can use a pen name or your own name, but do note this cannot be changed once the book is published. Then input our description from ChatGPT here. Then I own and hold necessary publishing rights. And this is not adult content only, so select no here. Then under choose categories, I'm going to choose non-classifiable, then click save and continue. Now you need to put in seven keywords. These keywords will help your book rank in search, so be sure to use searchable terms related to your book, and then save and continue. Now in this section, we're going to get a free ISBN by clicking Assign Me a Free KDP ISBN. Then I want this to be premium color interior with white paper. Then this is important. You need to change the trim size to 8.5 inches by 8.5 inches. Then under Bleed Settings, I will select Bleed PDF Only. I selected Matte Finish for my pages. And here is where you will upload your interior manuscript created in Canva. Then you will upload your book's cover. Select Upload Cover you already have, then select Upload Cover, and import your book's cover from Canva. Then if everything is correct with your files, you can launch the previewer and make sure everything looks good here. And if everything checks out, we can click Approve, then Save and Continue to the final step. Here you can set your price. I'm setting mine for $7.99. And that's it. You can now publish your book to be sold on Amazon. And if you like the idea of selling books on Amazon KDP, then check out this video here on how to create and sell super simple coloring books. And please don't forget to smash that like button for me if you found some value in the video. And again, I make an effort to answer all my comments. So if you have any questions about what we covered in this video, please ask in the comments below.